the very eminent panelist with, with me, Mr. Vikas Kharage, Principal Secretary to the Chief Minister of Maharashtra and also Principal Secretary of Department of Cultural Affairs. We have with us Mahesh Mandrekar, well known director and actor, Mr. Ashok Rane, renowned film scholar and filmmaker, and Mr. Abhijit Satam, actor, director, and very dynamic personality in the contemporary Marathi industry. Uh, so we are uh, just give a round of applause and uh, we will begin with the final discussion. Hello. So, uh, first of all, uh, I would like to begin with Mr. Vikas Kharge because our government of Maharashtra is always promoting good cinema and various measures are taken by the government of uh, Maharashtra. So, sir, I would like to ask you that what are the policies implemented by the government of Maharashtra in this respect? Thank you so much, Santoji. First of all, I would like to clarify whatever <laughs> happening in Maharashtra in film sector, state government is just a facilitator. Film industry has come not because of government efforts alone, but because of people like Mahaji and Mr. Satamji and so many others. So it is a contribution by many immigrants who are working in this field, tirelessly, with devotion, with sincerity. That's why the film industry has, in Maharashtra has grown. Government role is just to support the activity. And yes, Maharashtra government understands the importance of this sector. It not only entertains the people, but it creates the employment also. As a state government, our role is to support such sectors which creates employment, which adds to the GDP of the people, and which ultimately gives and spread happiness among the people of Maharashtra. So as you are asking, Maharashtra government is proactively working in this field to support this film industry. As we have seen in the film, we have a film city in Gorengau, Mumbai. In addition to that, we have another film city in Kolhapur. Basically, Marathi movies are shot there. In addition to these two studios, very good infrastructure. We have investment, lot of amount and money and efforts in that. We have a separate an IS officer who is an MD of this film city, Kola, Mumbai. And also, joint director level officer is also there at Kola, Chitramati. In addition to these infrastructural things, we have certain policies and support to the film industry. For Marathi regional movies, we are giving incentives to the Marathi films. After their production and after their distribution, we are giving amount 40 lakhs rupees, 30 lakhs rupees as an incentive to the Marathi movies. So that quality Marathi movies are created in Maharashtra. And this is a helping hand to the newcomers. Many, many newcomers, many, many new debut directors and producers are there. So this is how we are helping the <coughs> Marathi movie to create quality movies. Another thing those who are coming with the theme of creating good quality movie in Marathi based on the historical persons like Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, so many eminent personalities are there. On their lives, if somebody is coming to the government that here is the script we, have, we want to have a Marathi film, so we entirely sponsor that film. That is another scheme that we have. The third thing is that we are promoting the Marathi movie at the global level. At Cannes Festival in France and also here in the Goa Festival. Always we support three Marathi movies. Here also there are three Marathi movies that we have supported. They are here in the international uh, this Goa Festival and also at the Cannes. And another thing, in Maharashtra many people, many organizations, they are also organizing international film festivals in Maharashtra. Pune International Film Festival is there, Asian Film Festival that is in Mumbai, Mami Film Festival is in Mumbai, uh, Dr. Rani is here, he, he is coordinating for the Ajanta Film Festival in Aurangabad, Sambhajinagar. So, so many people and organizations, they are organizing Marathi, uh, the international film festivals 
including Marathi and maybe international movies and Hindi movies and regional languages movies. So for these film festivals also, Maharashtra government is helping. These are the major yes. initiatives that we have. Thank you, sir, for your very much insight. Now I will uh, come to uh, Rane, sir, because he is taking various films in the very, uh, film festival. Especially in Khans, we have the uh, representation of Marathi cinema in Khan market. So, sir, what is the output? Last, I think, six years we are taking these films. So, what is the output of uh, this all activities um, implemented by the government of Maharashtra? Uh, Namaskar. Uh, Santosh mentioned uh, government of Maharashtra uh, sends three Marathi films to Khan film market. Uh, the idea behind that uh, Maharashtra government, as uh, Karge Sir explained just now, so they are always there to help Marathi cinema, various art form, but we since we are talking about cinema, so they are doing so much for cinema, they are doing um, uh, granting ad and they have uh, a beautiful film city there, and many other things they are providing. And in, the, in that process, they decided one day that why should not the Marathi cinema give everything? So we should take Marathi cinema to world market. We should help them to go to world market and exploit whatever they can do there. And the idea came and then uh, we decided to go to Khan. So last eight years, we are taking three Marathi, Marathi films to Khan, excepting those two years in between COVID. So six times they've been to Khan. We took 18 films. We took uh, 18 producers, 18 directors, and they were staying there and they were um, um, given all the opportunity to interact with the international sales agent and business people, marketers, distributors, all kinds of people. And then they were uh, given opportunity to sell their film there. So, and then we have a studio uh, uh, booth there in Khan, our own booth in Khan. And then we uh, show, uh, make a screening of these three films, two screening per film. And we invite all the people and through this uh, uh, digital thing. So we approach, like we, before we go to Khan, we contact 12,000 uh, people from all over the country, all over the world. They are uh, sales agents and all kinds of people, market people and all that. And we provide all kind of information about these three films. And then that interaction start before we go to Khan. And then we go there and by the time all meetings are fixed and then meetings are taking place. And uh, last eight, as I, it's like eight years, 18 films we took. And uh, the most of this film, they, they, uh, they could do this kind of interactivity with people. And some of them succeeded in selling their film there in Khan. And uh, uh, right up to that, I remember that film called Ringan sold in um, uh, Australia. The Australian industry will come forward and he took the film and the film was uh, released in Australia also. So these kind of things are happening last eight years. Now we are, this is just the beginning and the more in the government is doing so much for this. Only the filmmaker has to take more little initiative to take, the filmmaker can do this, not government or person. I am taking care of all this uh, delegation. I, uh, to an extent, I help them, but then the filmmakers and they are doing a very great job. Now here also in Goa, last three years I am attending this market here. And the way our Marathi filmmakers, they come and they interact with the uh, market people here, the uh, distributors and all that. Really it is something amazing. So alongside that, what we are doing in Khan, we are also approaching various film festival directors. And through that, we have been succeeded in taking those films to various film festivals world over. They have been selected there. And then uh, there is always uh, there is a film school. Then the, from archive, they also come forward and they they try to have some uh, dealing with uh, filmmakers to have their films in the archive and their film school. And uh, I would uh, like to uh, just mention here that Neon Film School they are always there in Khan with their 25 to 30 students every year. And every year, last eight years, they they approach me and they select one film out of that three. And they watch that movie and along with that filmmaker, they have a very good dialogue, about two hours dialogue with the students, students and Marathi filmmaker. So this is a good sign, something good happening. The more in more what the government want, want kid, there should be exposure. They should be connected with the world over. This is the main aim behind this Khan and this Goa thing and this is what happening, all this thing. I'm really happy about that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
as you rightly said that government is taking their measures but from the producers and uh, director side also there should be uh, some measures to be taken to make marathi cinema more popular in the other regions and on international level my sir uh, what you would like to add on this point do you need today we are at such a stage ki i think uh, in indian cinema marathi cinema is making its mark uh, the choice of subjects uh, makers we have are on par with the best in the country what what we lack is a market outside of maharashtra today uh, when i look at south cinema uh, they have taken it all over the country so and how have they taken it all over the country by just dubbing it into the hindi language what we need to do is we need a wider audience for marathi cinema uh, there are people here who are non marathis who are seeing it in marathi on ott and uh, there so many people who call and say that marathi cinema is fantastic so are we going to wait for that audience you know who are going to see it on ott what we need to do is see today the state is such ki there was a time when cinema was star driven today it is content driven when uh, like vidhu vinod chopra makes three idiot and novi series and no oh, suddenly he makes a film called wealth fail and it is appreciated by the people that shows today ki content is the key it was not a star driven cinema what we need to do is find that audience who are ready to accept that cinema like today in the whole even a hindi cinema like uh, badhai hold as well or wealth fail as well it shows that the audience is ready we have the content we have the makers who are doing good cinema so why not so and it started with uh, mr vi shantaram who made all his films as a bilingual thing. so what are we waiting for we have the best set of actors i think um, the theater background which maharashtra has is the best in the country we have some wonderful actors so why don't we uh, take them all over the country and uh, Out, out, outside of the country also, but there are the government of Maharashtra is definitely taking good measures to see that the film is going uh, out of the country. People like uh, Mr. Rani is really working hard to see that you know cinema is noticed. But we need to popularize Marathi cinema all over the country. And as an example, I can give you an example of Kannada cinema, which was again you know suffering and suddenly one KKR and KKR RRR. Takes it all over the country. Today, Kannada film industry is thriving. Why should Marathi industry not thrive? Like they say, you know, even a film producer or a film distributor says, if a film does in Maharashtra, it is if it does not do well anywhere, but only in Maharashtra, it is fine. So when we have such a uh, great platform, why don't we we should look at dubbing our films in Hindi? and releasing not if not simultaneously at least two weeks later for the audience also it and not drone would not build in a day so it would start immediately but we can make an effort slowly slowly people will be aware that marathi cinema has fantastic content yes you are, as you rightly said that i think the producers will take care of this that we will not make only our means marathi cinema confined to the maharashtra it will go beyond the boundaries and abhijit uh, sir also mentioned about the ott platform and of course now cinema is not confined to theater i think uh, it is going beyond it is going on digital uh, platform so what do you think about this digital platform and how what are uh, the what are the measures we can take to good evening so we come from the land of the pioneer of indian cinema that is why We have always been an industry which has been built by creators, and today we are in the era of the creators. We call it the creators' economy. So, if you look at even the everyday creators who are creating content on social media, and they can engage an audience on average to four hours per day, every one of us unknowingly. Is watching social media content or content created by creators 
four hours per day. Now let's amplify this. If we amplify these kind of technologies to take our own films, Marathi films, to focus with, to a large audience through the newer technologies, platforms, it's not just a market which we should be focusing on, which is just Maharashtra. Because Marathi, or we are, we are already in the hyper-connected world, we have to use this hyper-connectivity through our technologies and platforms to take our cinema to audiences not just outside Maharashtra, but outside India, because good stories are consumed, watched, loved, shared all across the globe. So I feel this is what uh, platforms like uh, OTTs or, or we have various models now which where cinema can be monetized. Uh, like OTTs, that is, we call it the SOR, subscription video on demand. Platforms like a YouTube, which is advertising video on demand. And there is another way of how cinema can be monetized, which is called TWOR, which is transaction video on demand. Let's imagine a scenario that today, taking Marathi films, if we plan a Marathi theatrical release, limited to Maharashtra, but then your film doesn't need to be just in theatres at the same time. You can simultaneously release with some maybe a gap of 2-3 days all across the globe until the hype of the film is there. So a film, going to a film is always you know, a kind of a, a impulsive decision. We have, we have all, always seen cinema, look, looked at cinema. Like uh, Whenever there is a hype around a film, whenever that film uh, needs to be enjoyed, it's, it's like a social experience. What if the social experience of watching films is shared digitally all across the globe? I think monetizing uh, films through these technologies is the way forward. I think this is the future of cinema maybe. This is happening everywhere. Just let's take for example, just to, I'm, I'm just giving you a very different example. Uh, don't we order food for uh, from any of the restaurants and we are okay to pay an extra 100 rupees to get it digitally to our doorstep? We can do that for films as well. Because films, like food, entertainment is required. And content is required. It is a way of life. Sir, uh, I would like to ask you because we are talking about only Marathi cinema, but Maharashtra is a land of cinema. Means Bollywood is also situated in our Mumbai. So here I think there are so many people from outside of Maharashtra. And we have beautiful locations, we have so many facilities. So how uh, we are uh, like providing our uh, some facilities and through a light? Yeah. See, Maharashtra is a place where uh, you can do everything about the cinema. End to end, you can have all the, uh, says, all the all the things of cinema in Maharashtra. You can come here, you will have pre-production, production, post-production, post distribution, everything is there in Mumbai and Maharashtra. Maharashtra is blessed with very beautiful scenic places which are very good for film shootings. We have beautiful beaches, we have Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, 350 forts are there. We have historical places, we have uh, good forest, we have wildlife. You take a name, <coughs> religious places are there. Out of 12 Jyotirlingas, we have five, five Jyotirlingas in Maharashtra. So you name it of a category of a place you <coughs> find in Maharashtra. Another very important thing in Maharashtra is that excellent talent resources. In, in every section of the filmmaking, maybe actors, technicians, directors, script writers, you take a name, yeah. all the talent pool is available in Maharashtra. And I would like to mention here, Maharashtra, especially the private sector, there are many schools and colleges which are available in Maharashtra, in Mumbai, in Pune, and other places, which are producing directors, actors, script writers, cinematographers, dance classes are there. So private sector, government, government of course, Government of India's FTI, Film and Television Institute is there in Pune. But other than the government, central government schools, so many schools and colleges related to film industry are available in Maharashtra. Maharashtra 
Maharashtra government especially as you mentioned for the other producers of other states and other countries. Again, we have a single window system. If you want to shoot in Maharashtra, just online you apply to the single window system which is managed by Film City Mumbai and you will get a permission within few days. You need not run to pillar and post to get the permissions. So that system is in place in Maharashtra. Also, we are thinking to have a policy where currently you have to pay fees for shooting at government locations. If you want to shoot in a beach or in some government premises or in forest area, you have to pay fees. So we are coming up, we are thinking to coming with the policy that there, there won't be any fees, everything will be free. So in short time we will come with that policy also. Then see lot of say thinking is going on in Maharashtra to have a new film policy also, as it was mentioned in the film also. So lot of future say incentives and support system will be in place in Maharashtra. So I appeal to all the producers which are outside Maharashtra. Come to Maharashtra, you will get everything, all supports. Further, we are very open for the discussion. If you have any new ideas about, say, having more facilitation for the film production in Maharashtra, we are ready for that also. Very good. So, I think uh, in the audience, uh, maybe they have few. That you would like to welcome the producers outside Maharashtra to come here. So, my question is pertinent to post-production industry in Maharashtra. I mean, no doubt, it's tremendous here. So, for foreign producers, you know, when we come here, um, because you know, post-production is obviously cost-effective for us, some of the challenges pertinent to cultural affairs, what we face is... If you have any financial or legal complications with somebody in Maharashtra, there is no support system, let me agree there. But definitely we will think on that. We can have a separate sale, we will definitely work on that, just to help legally and facilitate with the many other stakeholders with whom you want to fight or you want to have a compromise, etc. We will definitely think to have a forum within government in Film City to help and support and facilitate these things. We will definitely think on that. Thank you. Uh, just uh, one line. Something like Better Business Bureau. For instance, in America, if uh, somebody does something wrong, one can file a complaint. Instead of going the whole long legal route, you can just file a complaint in Better Business Bureau. You know? so, uh, I hope that there can be some kind of small compliance management better business bureau uh, kind of set up. I'm not saying help us out in the whole legal system, just a compliance support that one can knock the door and help us in the initial phase of post-production guidance or, uh, you know, compliance support. Well, yeah. I got it. Yeah. We have such a separate sale which is called as Maitri. Yeah? There's a friendship sale for industry department, for various industries, when they come and invest in Maharashtra, if they have some legal issues and that support system is there. But for the film industry, those who are coming in Maharashtra and having some problems after post-production, then currently, definitely we will work together with film, uh, with, with the industry department and film city. We will definitely th to think to have such forum for the support system. Mayji, would you like to say something on this? Uh, no, I think um, it depends on the quality of work you want also. You can't have a fixed norm, you know, because uh, there are so many VFX studios which are working for the post-production. It depends on the quality also. So that, I, I, I feel somewhere, if you have done a contracting and then if you can go legally here, that should be the only answer. Here, I don't think the government of Maharashtra can take a stand, you know, you should take that much money for a post-production. Why are the people coming from US here? Because they feel it is cheaper here. So why should it be cheaper, you know, if they are giving quality? So that, I don't think the government can take a stand on that. But if, if you all are cheated, like if you make a contract and if you all are cheated, then the, I think the government of Maharashtra can step in. Thank you. So what I, I think we need someone here also wants to answer, ask a question. We have, uh, time is a major factor here. 